What do you think of the Dave Chappelle special? Not just the reaction to the special, but the special itself. Um, the special itself, when I, I didn't start to warm up to it until like at least halfway, if not like three fourths of the way into the special, like the majority of the beginning of it, I kind of felt like, I mean, Dave Chappelle was doing what he does, Dave Chappelle, but like, it just wasn't hitting in the way that it used to when you watch his old con. I don't know. At the first large portion of it, I was like, this isn't even funny. And then towards the end, he starts to get into, you know, this larger discussion about addressing the transgender community, what he said in the past, how he feels like he's been misrepresented. And then he talks about this really amazing and beautiful story about this transgender um, comedian that he became close to and friends with. And... um how that relationship shaped his life. Um, and I thought that this was obviously like the best part of the special. Um, I can see why people are upset. Um, I don't think it's like worth people like walking out of their jobs for, I don't know. Um, it was really funny. I disagree right away. I mean, it's a personal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a personal tasting. Obviously you're not saying, Obviously, you're not saying it was objectively not funny because I found yeah. it. You didn't. Like it. No, but I find I thought it was really funny, and I actually think it was one of the best pro trans um, content I've ever seen in my life. Right? Um, I think it needs to be celebrated as a as the best. You know, it it it, it seemed like a beautiful trap. <laughs> to me uh, i don't know i'm not saying it was intended like that but i think it's basically lures in the the people all the people that might be interested in seeing you, you know something edgy something that is making fu fun of the cancel culture and it did do that and it is effect you know I, I i like the fact that it's making fun of cal cancel culture and making fun of people who can't take a joke making fun of people who are very sensorial and you know so you, you know the type of people that are interest, interested in that kind of context some of them many of them are not transphobic but let's be honest a lot of them are okay a lot of the people who are anti-social justice warrior or anti-cancel culture i mean i i'm anti-cancel culture and stuff that i'm not transphobic but let's be honest a lot of the people who are constantly talking about cancel culture cancel culture they're the biggest they're the transphobes right and these are people who you talk to them about anything um trans rights related or humanizing the experience of i mean it doesn't need humanization because it is human but i'm just like convincing them that these are human experiences and these people need sympathy um it just taught me the mere discussion about that makes them think like you're like these far lefty you know loon and they just they're they're so they they have this such a weird disgust uh, gut reaction to anything trans um, and I think this, the, what the content does is that it lures in those people and it ends the entire special with showing them what trans people are dealing with, the level of um, demonization. And the fact that the best line in the show is was when, the, when Dave was talking about the, her, his trans friend telling him, because a lot of people are like, oh my God, these these are so confusing. Like, you know, people are switching genders. What is this? I don't understand it. You science, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, look at all these pronouns. Which one do I use? You're all making this confusing. And I think the best line in that entire show was when Dave's, Dave's trans friend told him that I don't need you to understand. I just need you to believe me that I'm having a human experience, right? That's all you need to know that this is like, you don't, even if you don't get it, just know that they are, that they're suffering and they're being demonized and that this is not fun. And you need to just, sim just sympathize with them. Right. Is that too hard to expect from you? Okay. So I think, I think 
it got a lot of people that that wouldn't have heard a message like that listening to that because it was obviously gain you know brought a lot of people like that in uh, i also wanted to uh, think it was a great defense of trans people in a way that a lot of people just assume that if somebody is trans they must be this far lefty sensitive snowflakely person and they've kind of made it clear that no trans there are many trans people that are capable of laughing at these jokes you know so i think it was a defense like because a lot of right-leaning people just assume that you must be one of those social justice warriors people warrior people if you are trans right but no and many trans people not only they do not have any issues with these jokes they want these jokes because they themselves find it funny so in that way it was also a defense of trans people if i have any criticism of the show is is that dave doesn't seem to understand the difference between sex and gender <laughs> so just, that was a, a huge weird problem thing. <laughs> such a weird pink thing for people to still not understand like from all the issues with, you know there's but for all the concepts that you that people could understand about trans stuff you you would think that is the most simple one to get okay be like you know and, and i think like so he seems to not understand that it's amazing that somebody that has been having conversations about this for such a long time is still confused about the difference between sex and gender so that would be my criticism of it i also think like people don't understand when you say something is a social construct it doesn't mean that it does not exist people are like gender is real like bitch calling something a social construct doesn't make it not real contracts are social contracts contracts are real countries countries are social con constructs not social con uh, contracts social constructs right language is a social construct language is real your nation is a social construct when if i say the united states is a social construct it doesn't mean that the united states does not exist so what is this response to people saying like gender is real yes it's real bitch. it's it's real and it's a social construct at the same time these two statements are not contradictory okay so that's my criticism but overall it was funny it was great it was very heartfelt and i enjoyed it yeah Go so on. the way that we would talk to your point to help people understand this what armin is getting at when we talk about in critical studies which i did in university is um gender or its presentations is a social construct but it is real in its consequences so i hope that helps people like understand what we're getting at here it's like just because it was quote unquote made up that does not mean that this thing that was made up does not have real impact and consequences in someone's life um Ma but I mean made up something we made up doesn't mean are not real like our standards yeah 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 um I didn't I wasn't denying I wasn't yeah. I wasn't trying to say you're wrong. Okay. I know. Just, okay. I'm just, I I, yeah. Because I think made up, yeah. I, I just hear made up, and I think people are saying that it means that it's not real. Okay. So, again, how our, would, yeah, go. How would you respond to someone who is like, Armin, how dare you call this a pro trans special? Dave Chappelle said that he's a turf, that he is strongly with the turfs because he thinks gender is real. How dare you, sir? characterize sure. this yeah. as pro-trans well because i think dave doesn't understand the difference between sex and gender yeah right and i think the turf community um confuses that on purpose sometimes because they're ignorant but sometimes on purpose they use that interchangeably okay and also okay so first of all when they're talking when they're saying gender is real and you ask them what do they mean by gender is real you realize very fast that they're actually talking about sex, not gender. But even if they want to talk about gender, I agree that gender is real. Gender is made up. Gender is a social construct. And gender is real. And these are not mutually exclusive. But they're not even ready to have the discussion. They're not even at the level of saying gender is a social construct and it's real. Because what they're talking about is not even gender. <laughs> okay. So um, 
I think like just because somebody, okay, so I can criticize uh, somebody for being ignorant about a topic. That doesn't mean they're anti-trans. That just means they're ignorant, okay, or they're wrong, okay? So yes, I would say, say that Dave Chappelle was wrong about his defense of, you know, turf arguments. Um, he's wrong about that. That doesn't make him anti-trans. That just makes him wrong. Okay, this is another problem that a lot of people have in the leftist community. They think wrong opinions means that you're anti-gay or anti-trans or anti-minority groups. They're just, they're just incorrect. It's in, you know, I, I mean, I get frustrated with people being incorrect about something, especially when the information is so easily available and you're, it's okay for you to be frustrated. About, you're justified in being frustrated about it, but you can be frustra frustrated about it without accusing them on, of, of being transphobic because they're just wrong. They're not transphobic. Some people are just wrong. Some people are actually transphobic. Some people are just wrong. They're not the same thing. <laughs> True. True, true, true. Okay, Mr. Navabi, you defended your case. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Navabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.